Honour, welcome to, to Corey Ian. You must be pleased to get everything signed, sealed, and delivered. Aye, thank God. Uh, it's been going on maybe a month now, and, and you know, even yesterday things weren't looking too good, but uh, a few phone calls and we got there in the end, thank God. And uh, describe your game. Obviously, we've seen you as a, as a right back, but I think you can also play at centre half as well. Aye, I've got a bit of versatility, and um, over the last number of years, I've been able to start on the centre half and right back and even midfield. So, you know, hopefully, I can bring that versatility to Corey Ian and um, you know, help the team. And I talked through your career, I think you started at Derry and were at Cliftonville as well? I started off at Derry, um, came through the academy and stuff and then under 19s and then maybe went to the first team under Kenny Shields. Um, and then with time, you know, things things happened and we uh, we moved to Cliftonville. And it was a great move at the time, you know, um, if nothing bad against Cliftonville, it was a great great few years and, you know, it was just time for a change now to come up to Coleraine and... and Start again. No, no, I know you were at the last pre-season friendly here on Wednesday night. What did you make of things? No, the team looks very, very good. You know, I've been at a few games this season, and you know, I'm excited about the team that going to put together. And that was a big part of the reason of coming here as well, because um, you know, I was excited by what what Lauren signed and um, and how the team was looking. So it was a no-brainer for me. And uh, the key thing now is probably getting some training session on your belt and, and back onto the pitch. Uh, that's it. You know, I've been trying to keep myself fit over the last number of weeks, but you know, not training with with anyone really by myself. So. Um, that's it, looking forward to getting started and getting a training session and, and getting a game under my belt the, for the season ahead. Well, Lauren, you, you signed uh, Conor McDermott today and uh, what sort of attributes do you think he'll bring to the squad? Um, you know, I think already it, he's only 24 and um, you know, through Derry and both Cliftonville, um, it's easy to see in the league you know, the attributes that he has. He's a, he's a really, really good defender, um, but really good going forward as well. Um, can play centre half and right back, uh, wing back as well, so it gives us that bit of versatility and probably a bit of cover that we haven't had for probably Lyndon uh, for a long time from that point of view. Um, but also the versatility, I think, where you, you know there's different areas of the pitch uh, where both players can play. Um, so you know we're hoping that will be a, um, a big signing for us. Yeah, and it has a lot of competition to places as well, doesn't it? Yeah, which we need as well. And you know it's we're we're probably up to a good number now. Ideally, we'll, there'll probably be a few move on, but. But generally, as we always say, you know, we don't have a huge squad, but we like to have the competition in that squad to make sure um, that everybody's on their toes. But also, we like versatility in the squad as well, where, as you know, we have a lot of players, particularly in the midfield forward areas, who can play a, a range of positions. And Connor probably ticks that box as well. You know, as I've mentioned, wing back, right back, centre half. There's a, there's a range of positions that he can play. And the big thing for Connor now is obviously getting him into training and, and games as well. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's it's taken you know it's it's taken its time like most transfers do to try and get it um, moved on and pushed through. And I think he's been he's in good enough shape and he looks after himself that way. But we all know it's it's that bit of football fitness and getting out onto the pitch that's the most important thing. And we've also agreed a deal in principle with Michael McCrudden, and I think he's in holiday, so it'll be hopefully finalised hopefully next week. Yeah, Michael um, had, had come in actually with us at the, it was a bit of a strange one, you know, he'd come in with us at the start of pre-season, he'd reached out to us, believing that he, he was out of contract, um, he trained a couple of days, he guessed it for us, um, and then we were made aware that actually he had a year left in his contract, so that, that sort of put a, a, a stop to, to that aspect of it as well, and, and rightfully so, because if, uh, ideally, you know, there's no point entering into that, obviously, with a player under contract, so... Um, again, just as part of this, we've tried to negotiate the two to, you know, to try and get to get both out. You know, he's mad keen to get back playing football. Um, he's missed a year, but again, he's looked after him. He's played a lot of sport, even though he hasn't been playing football. Um, he's kept himself in fantastic shape, and, and I think we all know from watching the league over the years the qualities that, that Michael has as well. So, again, it's one of those. It'll, it'll not be instant where, you know, he's going to need a few games, a few more games to get up to speed and everything else, but. You know, it's not all about building for the first three games of the season. It's about building for a 38 or a 40 game season. So, um, for us, you know, these are are both players. Hopefully, that will that will add to that.